Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25158. This build brings up a few new features and changes in Windows 11 and also a whole bunch of fixes. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what you can find new in this Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel. Before talking about anything, if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with a notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, what you need to know is that Microsoft provides an ISO download for this version of Windows 11 and all you need to do is to access the link below in the article from the description. Scroll down, of course, you need to have a Microsoft account that was linked to the Windows Insider program. Select the edition that you want to download, for example, the latest one. Click on confirm, then select the product language, English, United States, for example, confirm, and then you will have the download link to download this ISO. First of all, we got some news regarding widgets in Windows 11. Microsoft is introducing notification badging for widgets. They're beginning to roll out even more dynamic widgets content to the taskbar with notification badging for widgets. We're going to see a screenshot so you can have an idea of how that looks. And when you open the widgets board, a banner will appear at the top of the board providing more information on what triggered the notification badge. Of course, this is rolling out to a small group of Windows insiders. And if you don't have it you just need to wait for future builds that will have it or if I'm gonna find a solution or a way to enable these features that are not available for every Windows Insider I'm gonna make a separate video in which I'll show you how to do that Microsoft is also announcing that starting with this build the search box from the desktop will be removed as it was only an experimental feature and it will be officially removed because Microsoft only wanted to test this out with a bunch of Windows Insiders in this build we also have some new visuals for all the tasks Bar. In this build, some devices will receive different visual treatments for search on the taskbar. To enable these different visuals, you need to restart your computer after you upgrade to this build, but you need to note that not all Windows Insiders will have this experience enabled even after the reboot. Again, if I manage to find a way to manually enable this, I'm going to make a separate video. I've done a restart on my computer after I installed the build, and as you can see, this is how the new visual effect for the search box or the taskbar looks. It actually looks really nice and you will see that you have a whole bunch of other variations to this but if you click on it you have this nice effect where this button will have this gradient on it which is really nice let's test out and see if we move the taskbar behavior to the left if anything changes and as you can see it still has this nice effect which is really really cool in my opinion and of course on the screen you'll see how the different visuals could look on your computer if you have this enabled after the restart. We also have some news regarding the DNS over TLS testing feature that is now available for Windows DNS client query protection and also some changes regarding input that will improve the overall texture of text in Ethiopic languages. Let's now talk about some fixes. So for example, Microsoft fixed an issue which was leading some PCs hanging at black screen when resuming from low power state in recent flights. They also fixed an issue where the MyCom material and acrylic blur effect was rendering incorrectly in OS surfaces like the start menu, notification center, and other areas sometimes in recent flights. We also have a whole bunch of fixes for the file explorer. So for example, they fixed an issue where closing command bar flyouts could in some rare cases crash explorer.exe. Control plus F4 should work to close the current tab now. Opening a zipped folder in a new tab should no longer have a blank tab name. If focus is on the tab row, Control plus W will no longer unexpectedly close two tabs instead of just the tab in focus. They also fixed an issue where control plus tab wouldn't cycle in the correct order after rearranging tabs and also they made some adjustments when using show full path and title. The folder name is always visible in the tab at the top of the file explorer. Regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed a high hitting explorer.exe crash in the last few flights related to loading widgets. Related to start, start shouldn't crash anymore when using control shift plus right arrow to move a pinned app into a folder that's the last item in start. They also fixed a crash some insiders were experiencing when opening start and also narrator will now read the prompt that opens when trying to uninstall an app from start correctly. We also have some fixes regarding search and also a whole bunch of fixes regarding settings, fixed crashes and also some updates regarding certain pages in the settings app. Also in the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue where some services were being unexpectedly grouped under Microsoft Edge when they weren't actually child processes. Of course, I talked about some fixes briefly, but if you want to 
see the whole list of fixes, you can access the link down below in the description. That'll be the article from my website TechBased, and there you'll be able to also find the official links to the Microsoft blog. This was the build for today and the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Always Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.